you explore the area outside of Nationals Park, you'll find cool restaurants, a microbrewery. You'll even find a trapeze school. Now, do I have a skill set when it comes to acrobatics? Let's go find out. So I've made my way inside the facility. I found Laura, who is one of the flying trapeze instructors. Laura, how did this trapeze school end up right here outside of <laughs> Nationals Park. Well, Trapeze School New York actually started in New York, and due to the popularity of flying trapeze and aerial classes, the school decided to expand. So it slowly made its way south, starting at Baltimore's Inner Harbor. The school ultimately moved here to D.C., and we've been in this lovely facility for the past two years. So if this whole reporting thing doesn't work out for me, <laughs> what is the career path I need to take to become a professional trapeze artist? <laughs> well, first and foremost, start taking some classes. We would love to see you back here frequently to learn different tricks, different skills, and to just watch your body get stronger, more flexible, and most importantly, more confident. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> I'm not too, too nervous or scared at all. It's tight. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, yes, if anything happens, can you please just let my mom know that she gets full custody of my dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Okay. <laughs> and you'll keep those in front of you like backpacks. And if you'd like, you can put a little bit of chalk on your hands. <laughs> we are all witnesses. <laughs> oh, jump forward. Yeah, Jess, nice. Good job. You're doing emotions right now. <laughs> terrified, exhilarated. Okay, maybe just basically those two, terrified and exhilarated. That was awesome. Oh, man. Do you want All to go right. again? No, I think I'm okay. <laughs> I think once was enough. Thank you. Nice job. You did great.